Hmm. Okay, so we've um, taken a little trip off to uh, high, high TV land. Um, who have we spun into? Oh, it's Elliot, is it? All oh, right, awesome. Some strength four players are quite nice there. This will be a fun game. Bit of a shame about the matchmaking, but never mind. So, I'll have one of those. One of those. I think that works. Never getting my surgery. You'll get it, Shamba, don't worry. prediction ideas um i don't know what what do you guys like what would you like to like as a, a prediction um i didn't realize Elio was spinning um it's gonna be exciting We've got enough firepower to do something. So let's see if we can actually do something. Where are we taking this? So... Where are we blitzing? Which god have you got? One, two, three. It's exciting. I'll have you back. I'll have you there. And we are missing someone important. There we go. Okay, so we've managed to... Uh, Shamba's been benched. He's a reserve. Um, we've got uh, Gunnar is tackle man for the ghoul uh, and the wolves. And... Claw might the day player rather than just might blow it. Rather clumsy might blow the uh, the uh, that. Yeah, that's all right. Let's do that. Let's do that. <sighs> Turn out nice again. It's fine. So we probably haven't got fame. Uh, no, Elias played a lot more games than us. So that's not surprising.
Nope. Nope. Oh, okay. Cool. That's one. Where's the ball? Always there. Are we blitzing that white this turn? Are we blitzing that white this turn? There's a part of me that doesn't particularly want to get stuck on the stand firm straight away. Not when I've got all my rest of the players here. I think there's an argument for just not this turn. Just not. And... I need to go there instead. I need to go there. Yep. We've got Deadly Player. We have to stay put. Nope. And fetch the ball. That's just got block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I think what we could do is we could put you there, the ball carry could go about. Just come north. Tackle man can go there. That's fine. That's fine. Over to you. Over to you. Um, yeah. Um, Squeaky chair. Uh, head to the disc. Take it easy. Uh, giraffe, what was the... Um... Oh, you've still got it. It's still active. I'd like to say, what's the prediction? Um, who will cause more Kaz this half? Andy Elliott. Eh. Okay. God, this is a this is a pretty dangerous team, isn't it? It is. Uh, he's got an effective team. All that strength for he's got one, two, three, four, five strength fours. Wow. Wow, that's a lot of strength four. Uh, where are we blitzing? Where are we blitzing? Okay. I don't think we're going to take that goal on. I think it just gets me into trouble. Uh, so we'll go for that.
Getting rid of the dirty player wouldn't be terrible. Never mind. Nope. Nope! Okay. Flicks the goal with tackle. Um, we could hit the, the tackle goal, but I, I don't think... The, the downside was that it would get sidestepped into and we'd have a big world of problems. Um, so I don't think I want to do that. Um, I think what we want to carry on doing um, is just watching, waiting, thinking. Because um, I think Elliot, Elliot will play the aggressive, the aggressor here, I think. I think. Um, so there's no rush, right? I, I can just stand here and go, go on then. to get that goal down if he gets the ball. Yeah, Elliot's got a great team. He's a great coach with a great team. Let's um let's not make let's not make any bones about this. Uh did we get his goals? Yeah Serrano, yes we did. Um thank you for asking. Uh we won against the Orcs and we also have won two other games today. So um yeah Not decided what I'm going to do with you yet. Ah, that's useful. That's quite useful. It's quite useful indeed. You're standing up. Let's ponder for a second. Uh, that's going to go in there then. That's going there. That's going there. Or I can go in there. Um, yeah, I'll stay in there. Hmm. Hmm. Bit of disappointment that foul. Not gonna lie. Uh, you're standing up, because that's actually gonna take God off you. Um, and normally, normally you could put a warrior in here and it not go, please don't. Um, <laughs> but on this occasion, uh, we, we just can't do that. Um, yeah. Let's put you in there. Not a bit of an odd turn that one. Like we got the KO, uh, we got the stun, which was lovely. We didn't then build on it, which was sad. Um, I don't know. 
Bit of a bit of a myth too. Um What the fuck is this OPT? Um yeah this team's going alright. We we have been quite lucky, we've only spun into high TV land a couple of times, right? And I think that makes a difference. I think I think only only um, spinning into high TV universe on, on occasion is is quite nice. Um, I also think against this team where he's got quite a few control skills uh, with the sidestep and the multiple stand firms. Um, I think that I need to probably be quite aggressive with this uh, in terms of taking space. So if there's space available, um, we're going to take it. Um, no chaos. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I'm, um, how, how's Elliot? Is he, is he happy with the way things are going generally? I, I assume so. That's quite a clever move. Will that be telling? Eh. That's interesting. That's what it is. It's always interesting to see how like different people um you know what, what they're thinking about. How they feel it's going. Oh, you dirtbag. Ha! You big dirtbag. <laughs> oh dear. This is a bit of a naughty move. Let's see if this works. Not to use Elliot's phrase, it's a bit rowdy that one. Yeah, it did work. Um, uh, Claw White Blow got us through, and then we rolled a nine on the other half. Let's me then rotate back into the centre. Um, So the the that white I thought was very important. Um, 
Oh wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I take take that. That's a great trade. That's that's a really big swing. That's a really really big swing. Yeah, that's theme park levels of swing. That is. You'd be genuinely pleased. I'm not writing GG. Steve, I thought his footwork was quite nice. Yeah, Steve, I, I thought you, um, oh, yeah. Yeah, I thought so. I, I've heard about this on other channels, like the early deployment of a GG. I'm, I'm not sure what, what you're all quite, quite all referencing there. Um, Well, that was a big hit. Big hit. Uh, do I recommend? Do I recommend my e blade before block? No. <laughs> <clears throat> oh no! Absolutely not. No. Uh, couldn't recommend it less. Um, Deploy an early GG. BG. Quizam, how you doing? <coughs> Deploy an early OP. Right, so we've got... Um, I think this is the turn we start thinking about rolling through. Um, the question is, who are we rolling through and where are we going? Um, because I think we're starting to get enough numbers we can start to think about doing things. So do we take the wolf out, for example, do we take it out, you know, pop it outside, um, or do we rotate, oh, we can rotate that way, that's quite a nice way to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, so you can go in there. I think we can hit that. I think we can hit that. Um, which will give us... Yeah, I think we can hit this. So... Borat's going to hit the Zombo. Keep this pinned. And we're going to go after the Wolf. Can we make the wolf hit big enough? I don't think so. I don't think so. So we'll go after the wolf. No. Okay, ball's going there. Ball's actually going to go there, I think. But what this is going to do is it should give me enough yardage to tr to attack into over the next couple of turns. That's annoying. Block, block. Oh, good lad. Regen, not a fake skill. And turn. Right, we will be able to attack now. I've got players both sides. I think I probably, if I could have relied on Borat not nobbing that up, um, and he didn't, 
Um, I would have quite liked to have kept the ball more central because we can actually go both sides at this stage. I mean, I'm doing a bad job of defending him. That's the third time Shepard's been punched. Not doing a good job of defending Shepard at all. Uh, you know, um, good ice here. Yeah. Uh, no, not good ice. Rocking and rolling both sides. Okay. Nice block, the block should be fine. Should be fine. Where are we going to put you? So, um, where can that ghoul get to? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that would be super rowdy for that to happen. Let's see if that's a knockdown. Not. Uh, that's interesting. Three dice with Bora. I would like to have done the Claw Mighty Blow hit, but I think three dice here. Three dice here with him is stronger. Close that gap. Close that gap. Um, I would love to push you in there and stand you up. See, you can go there. I think you can stand up. I think you can stand up. Because I don't think you're going to go the way. I think. I think we might be all right here. So I think you've got to run away. I don't know. And if you get the ball, that's to go forward. Um, question. Amazon Starcraft Skaven. Uh, what? Hang on. Sorry, chat. So I've been concentrating on this, and I apologies. I haven't actually seen the chat. Um, is anyone, do you want to add Andy Davo anything that you need me to reply to? Um, I will now pay attention. Um, but... Um, I I think uh, our opponent here uh, is doing a cracking job. Uh, block.
Good rep. Yeah. Smart move, I think. You can just stand up. Right, we need to be in scoring range next turn. Um, that is not going to go anywhere else than go there. Um, where are you going? So you have to be in scoring range. Hmm. We move the ball in range and then I need two go for it to score. Um hmm. I think I'm gonna make one go for it to score. I'd rather have just one to deal with. There we go. Right. Blitz. Got the knockdown that I needed. That gives me three players back. I should have enough now. Should have enough resource now to deal with this problem. That goes there. I'm confused by what we are referencing. Now I do need four, five, six, seven. I think I think we're gonna take the three claw. The the claw hit here, it's three dice. Yeah, it's either claw one eight miles away, isn't it? Um, I could roll a double skill here, right? What's it likely to do to me? We've got four bench. Casualtying that is, is of no consequence. But then again... Oh, you big... Big buffoon. Oh, score. Score. <laughs> or don't. Yeah. 
Yeah. So what I was actually weighing up there uh, was not whether or not it was a good idea, but um, much more that points on the Warriors is needed long term. So think 10 games from now. Um, um, where do we want to be? Do I want do I want the three points on the on the ball carrier, or do I want two points on a warrior? Um, and yeah, and honestly, I'd, yeah, I'd rather have the points on the warriors because the the warriors are actually in, are the are the lifeblood of the team. Um, but I'd rather not lose to another streamer, so, um, so there we are. Uh, tackle on one side. Uh, yeah. A lock and says, have you ever met the other streamers in person, perhaps playing tabletop? Uh, so I've met uh, Sage. I met him at the World Cup all two years ago, 2018. Um, he went, oh, that's Andy Debo. How are you doing? And then walked off. <laughs> um, it, was, it, was, it was like a polite exchange, but we didn't talk for very long. Um, I met um, Jimmy in 2016, 2015, back when he was playing tabletop. Um, uh, we actually played a game. It was him playing. Him playing. Oh God, was it Amazon? It was Amazon Stark Elves, and I forget which, which way round it was. I had Roxy, so I think I was the Amazons. Um, and when we first sat down, he went, "Oh my God, it's Andy Davo." Um, oh, um, this is gonna be really hard. Um, and it was a really, really close encounter. And then Roxy double wand uh, a dodge um, to get through when I was going to score, right? It was absolutely, if I, yeah, he, he sort of looked at the ball and went, this is done. And I said, oh, I've got it, I've, I've got a score. And he, she makes a, she goes to the dodge, because she's got the ball, legs it, fails to dodge, falls over and kills herself. Um, and he turns it around and books off to the other end and scores. Um, who else have I met? Um, I met Rick, um, although again, we've not played, I've met him a few times. He He's based in Stockport in the UK. Um, We've never had the pleasure of sitting down across the table and playing. Um, K Fogged and I have met. He was actually going to be in my team going for the uh, Poland Euro Open team. We'd put together one of the strongest tabletop teams we could think of. Um, but I don't think we've ever played against each other. Um, I have played Dio a couple of times. That's always gone all right. Um... I've played Hawker, but I don't think you guys probably know who that is that much. Um, uh, I think just staying the fuck away from that wolf is probably a good idea. One, two. So I could go here, right? Because that makes the Blitz be a thing. It doesn't fix the problem because you go. Does that is that the worst square possible? I think that's possibly worse, right? Because that angle of angles crap for him. I think that's probably the worst square because you've got a step here. Yeah, I think that. Um, I don't know how how many people have you guys as a collective? How many streamers have you uh, run into? Let's stay away from the wall and then bases it. Yeah, <laughs> but there is a reasoning for basing it, right? Because if you stand in, so we go through the squares. If you stand there, 
Um, push, yeah, come in from behind, push into the wolf, goes there, goes there, right? So that's a terrible square. Stand there, you've got the same input as standing here. I think these two squares are of, of very similar value. Um, that square is, the, is just as bad because you can blitz from the side, pushing there, and then when you push from that square, you push into one of these three, so obviously you push there. So I don't think that works. I think it was one of these two squares was fine. Uh, whereabouts in the UK am I from? Uh, so Nottingham. Nottingham. Wiki chair time. Arrival says, do I think Necro can compete in Chalice? Um, yeah, I, I do. Um, I think Necro are super strong. Um, um, in um, against elves, against elves and hybrid teams, Necro are the strongest team. Um, if you build them right, um, they fall off in effectiveness as you go towards 2000 TV and you play against Chaos Nurgle um, every single week. Um, not to say you can't win with those two teams. Just to say that it's hard. He's managed to push this into range. Well done. You're just like doing Notting Nottingham. Oh, nice. Um, and the, I think the, the, the thing about um, Chalice is that the, the teams to stop, one of the big teams to stop is Chorfs. Um, and I do think the other thing about Necro is they're all right, but yeah, Eliod's team is lifted from being meh to being wow because of the stat increases he's picked up. It's a little fortunate. It saves a 4 plus rather than a 3 plus. The new dwarves are going to be disgusting for everyone. Yeah, the new dwarves are a real shame. Games Workshop have really dropped the ball on that. Um, I think at least this is going to be a 4+. plus. He's got the reroll now for the dodge. So he's got a 4 plus dodge with dodge. Oh, fives. Five fours, twos, twos. He did all the clever bit, so he he's done well there. Yeah, it was a good try. Being able to pull it off even after a perfect D is um, is always impressive. Um, but I think that shows the power of the setup that he went with. That he was, I was unable to screw him even though I got a perfect D. Mm. I've met several in real life, he's a nice guy. Um. <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad you agree. <laughs> oh, no. I can go there actually, it just adds a little bit of don't think you want to go into frenzy mode there. Um, yeah, some of the times I've met you, Ceremony, you've been doing crazy shit like um, getting up at 4am to drive to a tabletop tournament. Um, and by 8 o'clock in the evening, you are... By 4 o'clock in the afternoon, you're pretty tired. And how many times have you done that? What, twice?
Um, the, the one the one thing about the the new rules, uh, guys, is the 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 rules were written by a, a group. I'm not going to say who they were because I don't think they I don't know if they want to be known or not. Not my place to say, even if it is. Um, is that they were written predominantly by people who play a lot of tabletop, a lot. Um, in fact, Samuel, do you know do you know a lot of the rules writers? Again, I'm not going to ask you to name them, but I suspect you might know some of them or or a lot of them. Um, can you think of any of them that are big online players? Because I I can't I can't think of any that play Blood Bowl two particularly. Like, and I mean a lot. There's a few that dip their toe into Blood Bowl two, but not not really. Um, so the rules were written with tabletop, I say almost exclusively in mind, very in mind, let's say that. Um, yeah, the people who play online, but it's, it, the focus was tabletop, wasn't it? It was, all, it was always tabletop. Good luck. And there's nothing wrong with writing the rules for tabletop. It's a tabletop game. Um, but I don't think, if this was an online game, I don't think dwarves would have been allowed to be as toned up as they are. Because dwarves, don't forget, didn't actually get a buff in the last round. What they didn't get was a kick in the face like a lot of the other teams did. So, and by the fact that Claw disappeared... Um, by claw going, dwarves got stronger, and a lot stronger because thick skull um, is super strong now. Um, controversial statement of the day: thick skull might be a pick on a level up because claw's not a thing. I'm not suggesting it is a first pick, but it couldn't. It's not. It's not as bad as it was. Uh, what's different about Blood Bowl 3? That's a, no, Zaylis, it's a complete new rule set. It genuinely is a completely new rule set. Uh, sorry, not Claw gone. Um, piling On's gone. It's Piling On that's gone. Claw's still around. Um, and from a mathsy point of view, um, bad choice for that player to stand there. That was really bad. He should have been there. That was really, that was really poor, Davo. Um, so, Claw, uh, think of it this way. Armor 7, which is the, you yeah, the base thing when Claw is being applied. Um, so Armor 7, or things that have got been applied with Claw breaks and removes about 15% of the time um, when you punch it. Not quite that, but it's a nice number. So think 15%. When you punch armor seven with mighty blow, you double it. It's a times two modifier. When you pile on armor seven, it's a times three modifier. So it goes 15, 30, 45. That's why piling on is so busted, broken. Because as you go up, team, uh, as you go up, um, as you go up, uh, experience like this chaos team goes from having 15% chance of removal only against armor seven, and it's like 12%, 10% against armor eight, and 5% against armor nine. And I go from being able to play orcs at 5% at, at TV 1200. I go to 45% at TV 2000. That's why the game is, it's not the same game as you go up team value. And that point is really not appreciated. Um, and it's irrelevant. It's completely irrelevant at tabletop because nobody plays tabletop 2000 TV teams. But when you lay it out like that, don't you think that that changes the game considerably? Andy play. Yeah, no, don't worry, this is an easy turn. Um,
There we go. Is it too much to assume that Tozana played it at 2000 TV? I don't think they had the intention of playing it at 2000 TV. No, because the, what they did at 2000 TV was when we're not playing at 2000 TV. It's not a thing. Um, Xerxes, thank you very much for this subscription. Welcome to YouTube. Um, yeah, what what they did? This was, this was that was a silly blitz actually. Um, what what they did was they said we will not play at 2000 TV. Um, we will have redraft. So that's how they fixed it. They just deleted it so you can spike occasionally up to that sort of team value, but it's not easy to get there, and you certainly can't stay there. Um, and I think that's a good. I actually think that's a good thing. Um, the question will be, how will they implement that online? Huh, I don't know what you did. I don't know what Elliot did there, but he made it do some some bizarre stuff. Dodge exciting. That is indeed going to make that dodge exciting. There we go. Do I see a universe where he pushes through here? Oh, bollocks, it's a go for it. It's foolish. He doesn't want to dodge, never mind. Redrafting Rune the Flon. So, um,. There is an element of redraft lets you actually heal people. Um, I, I'm I'm not against the redraft. I think the redraft is gen, generally a good idea. Um, and I think it will just change what you do. Um, because, first of all, do do you personally, as a, as a, as a person, personally as a person, think that um, playing club on Chaos, Orcs, Nor yeah, whatever, blah, 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 um, playing against club on teams where it's who can roll 8 plus 8 plus the mostest uh, is either A, fun, B, not fun. Which one are you? A, fun, B, not fun. Are you A or are you B? Okay, we've only had B's pop up so far. Young Flip likes A. Okay. All right, so from my straw poll of five people that replied, um, broadly what we're saying is you, you don't like claw palm, right? It's it's not a fun mechanic. It doesn't make games exciting. For, 1400 TV is the best TV. Yes, Hancock, I completely agree with you. And while there are a few people who like A, because, yeah, claw palm is a thing, and sometimes it's fun, um, it's not... It doesn't make for the most uh, entertaining games in my mind. So, Elliot's doing the same thing we were doing. Left a bit, right a bit, left a bit, right a bit. Um,
You're not going to go any further than that, so you need to go there. Where are we blitzing this turn? Like, seriously, where are we blitzing? Flying toe rag. here let's oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear So not good. Oh well. Don't like why we're playing this defense. Do you find <clears throat> when you guys in Jack collectively go, oh and Andy's playing claw palm again? Um People do seem to mentally tune out the games, the, the season of Wood Elves we've just had, um, the season of Skaven that we've just done, uh, the season of yeah, Run of Norse we just played, um, Humans we've just done, and and they selectively remember, um, oh yeah, he's, he's playing Claw Plum again. God, that Andy Davo fella. Um, and um, yeah, Deception Bias, I think that's what that's called. They didn't happen. Yes. The chores season. Chores followed by chaos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did actually play a lot of Skaven off stream, that's fair. That is a fair statement. I thought there was a cheeky wolf around the back. A little cheeky doggo. Where are we going to go with this turn? Where exactly are we going to go with this turn? I know where we're going to go with this turn. That's going to go there. It's going to go for it. Oh, 
enough God to be annoying. It's got enough, just enough God to be annoying. I don't think we can shut down all the different options he's got. Bore at your big dickhead. I was actually relying on that being a push. Because that then gives me two there as well. Oh, bore at your big dickhead. Gotta go there. You gotta go there. Fucking make a dodge, come on! Fucking hell. <sighs> and we've made one dodge. No line of scrimmage in sevens. So what, do you just don't set up on the LOS? You're not allowed to set up. I, I've never played, never played sevens. That was really bad because it's unlocked a load of shit that hmm, I think we shouldn't shouldn't have had to tolerate. Oh, this kicks in the middle. Yeah, fair enough. It's always going to be the problem. I don't have the speed he's got, so we need to get we need to have more players than he's got. And I think we haven't managed that in the second half. We've actually playing playing a player down. Um, and generally, several players lying on the floor. Um, hmm. side here. Borat goes there, that doesn't give me enough. Wait. 
question is, who's blitzing? Which one are we blitzing? Um, I can stand him up, and I can blitz the wolf. Um, which I don't hate. I don't hate that at all. The problem is he's got one there. I think. I think it's the guard we need to take care of. Because if I got a chance to get rid of one of the players, it would be get rid of the guard. Yeah. And... I don't think I see an advantage in following this. Other than to kind of make that block be that way. We will. No. We're following that according to the game. Game says you're following that up. Stun's pretty massive though. That stun's pretty massive. Yeah. Oh, never mind. And he doesn't believe in fireballs. I, I genuinely don't. Um, my phone can't be going off. That one's off, and that one's sat there, and it hasn't lit up. So, nah, my phone's not off. Uh, my phone's not ringing. My computer's going mental. Um, but no. Oh, how many of you got two? There's loads of you got two phones. Come on, that's not that's not unusual. Look, two phones. It's, that's totally legit. Steve-o. Oh, that's a massive dodge. Oh, that's a fucking massive dodge. Oh, that is a massive dodge. That dodge, if I was describing it in some way, the word I would use is massive. <laughs> oh man, that dodge is massive. Um, uh, we're going to be using the wizard, I'm just targeting a what. What are we targeting? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, and a go for it to then let the, the warrior come through. Or am I lightning bolting? You, let's say here, blitzing this and hoping that Scatter just throws it off the field. I think... I th think... I think I want the Scatter off the field. We take 75% chance of a knockdown versus a 55% chance of a knockdown. Um, we'll just have to be something up on here. Um, yeah, it's the blitz.
scatter off. Oh no. Oh no. That's no moon, it's a space station. Oh god. Okay, that's not where we really needed to go. Um Fucking hell. Gives me two there. in the corner of the ball um i don't hate standing in the corner of the ball the one thing about necro are um very very quick right so um the the stand in the ball with the corner in the corner in the corner with the with the ball corner like it gets lobbed out it would need to be a super long throw and even then he's not stood here he's stood here so that the reach round is totally on Um, so what you do by standing in the corner is you just get dumped on. I'm not saying that, that that's like, that's what I'd do. Oh, Mr. Chest, how we doing? A little bit of Blood Bowl royalty in the house. Lovely to have you with us. For those of you who are unaware, Purple Chest is a very... Very high win, uh, win rate coach. Um, he's also got a, um, a super. How do I describe your voice other than just brilliant? Um, um, yeah, it's just great. I like it. Um, so it's well worth a watch, basically, is what I'm getting at here. Uh, one into one. more zombie dodges. No, I think what he's going to do here, I think he's going to blitz two dice uphill. Um, he's had to roll a lot of dice to get to the two dice. Ugh. 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 Well, he made, he made all of the dice there. Literally all of them. Oh, well. I think we did a, we did as well as we could. A little, dis little disappointed with how that turn played out, if I'm honest. Like we, we probably could have done enough there to, to have a decent chance at stopping the score, but I think as it's as it's played out, no dice. Come on. So we got four plus for one dice on the ball, so basically four plus five plus there. Um, I can stand up this warrior. Um, Doesn't really do anything, but I can stand him up. And I can stand this warrior up. Um, I could dodge there and stand this warrior up and take two dice. And then have to make three plus, three plus for two dice. So I need to buy, like, it's four plus. It's, it's basically this, right? That, that, there's no fucking around now. 
it's this. Um, the only other line of play that there could potentially be is denial um, and just try and stop the score. But I think he's just going to have too much in the tank um, and I think he can just... Nah, I think I think he will... He's He's got too many players, he's got too much of an advantage. He will be able to work this out. I don't think... Um, Blitzing the wolf and trying to trying to get in the way gets me anywhere. I, I just don't see what that what that would do for me. He's got a re-roll, so I think we'll we'll take on the four plus five plus. I don't expect it to work, but I think that's what we'll do. Is there any, is there any other reason to do anything else? No, because the ghoul he's even got a box here. He can just push me out of the way and score. It's like it's trivial. It's absolutely trivial. Uh, we missed. Never mind. We tried. We missed. It was last. It was last turn. He made all the dice that he needed to make. So, and he's played really well. No, no, I'm in a draw. Playing uphill, 500 TV. <laughs> okay, now get a right and win. Sure. We're not more famous, so if we are scoring a, uh, a what's it here, um, yeah, I think this is a big ask. Um, what what would be nice is to try and chip a few more players. Uh, just from an SPP generation point of view, because we're still a long way away from this team being dangerous. Um, I would really like to see three casualties on the LOS. So we can get three there. We can get three there. Work out how to get three there. That was a block. When would I like to not see three of the uh, casualties? It's a good question, actually. Whoops. When would I like to not? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, 
Pit Pile. Disappointing. Okay, three dice here. And then we can go and fetch one more assist to make that three dice. Didn't even break armor, let alone uh, cause three casualties. Never mind. Great. Uh, okay. Meh. Oh well. No, no star player points for me at all, though. Could have one turn off the quick snap. I didn't have a reroll. I didn't think it was like a thing. Ugh. Oh dear. Oh, Vlam leveled. That's good. We did get something constructive out of the game. Um, we got five star player points out of that game. And an MNG goat is what we actually got out of that game. Was a five star player points and an MNG. But yeah, okay. Okay. Um, sure. Um, yeah, but you don't count, because I don't really want points on you, particularly. Um, the, in order of preference for no points, um, it's probably Dirty Player, Shamba, <laughs> Lehman, Ball Carrier. They're your fourth least important goat.